Greetings friends, and welcome to another episode of Let Us Talk Games. I'm Sweaty Lettuce, and today we are going to do a deep dive into one of the I Crit You Not game modes, The Look Olympics. But first, a message from today's sponsor, Jack in the Box. Frighten small children with a clown face jump scare. Great for parties. And now, for the holidays, Jack in the Box Arachnid Edition. Order yours today. Back to the show. The Lump Olympics consists of four events, each using the bonus from a Pacific stat. Power, speed, energy, and charm in that order. Though I suppose you could do the events in any order you choose. For practicality's sake, we will start with the first event, Tug of Luck. Players first choose the hero they will use for all four events. No switching halfway through. Players can be the same hero, even if your favorite hero is taken, you can alter the stats of whatever hero is available to match. In this event, players must pair up and roll their d20s plus power. The player with the highest number wins that roll and puts a mark in the round one speed column. To win, a player needs to have the highest roll three times in a row. If they lose once, they must start over at zero, while their opponent begins their streak of three. If a player rolls a natural 1 at any time, they are immediately disunqualified. If they roll a natural 20, that player adds 1 to their power. All ties are re-rolled. If there are an odd number of players, all players start the event by rolling a d20 with no bonuses. The highest roll gets to face the last remaining player. The winner of Thug Luck puts a star in the power stat, indicating earning that medal. Next is my favorite, Luck Lengths. This relies on the hero's speed stat and involves the risk of being eaten by Wolven. In this event, all players roll a d20 plus their speed and write the total in the round one speed column. If that number is two through nine, they gain one length, writing a one in the round one calamity and enhancement columns. If the number is 10 through 14, they gain two lengths, writing two in those columns. 15 through 19 equals three lengths. 20 and above is worth four lengths. The first player to 20 lengths, or the last one standing, wins the medal. Players roll again for round two and three, writing their round total in the calamity column and grand total in the enhancement column. After three rounds, the Wolven are released. For round four and on, players roll their d20s and add their totals, but then roll another d20 plus the Wolven's speed of 5 for its length that round. And write the Wolven's totals in the bonus boxes. If the Wolven's lengths reach or surpass the hero's lengths before the player reaches 20, they lose. Rolling a natural 20 gives the player 4 lengths and increases their speed by 1. A natural 1 disunqualifies them. Natural 20s and 1s do not apply to the Wolven rolls. Good luck. The third event is Leveluctation and has the heroes using their energy to levitate three objects in the air. All players roll a d20 plus energy to levitate their first item. If the roll is 10 or greater, the object levitates and the player marks a check in the round 1 speed column. If the roll is 9 or less, the object falls and the player marks an X in that column. Now they roll two more d20s plus energy marking the results in the calamity and enhancement of round one. For the next rounds, the players roll for their remaining objects. The last player remaining with the most objects is awarded the medal for energy. As in the other events, rolling a 20 gains one energy and rolling a one disunqualifies the hero. The final event is Luck Lance Launch. Players use their charm to launch lances at three targets at three different distances. Players roll three d20s plus charm per target, one for each lance. The first round target is worth five points each hit and the player needs to roll a 10 or higher to hit it, writing the new total in each column. Round two targets are worth 10 points each and the players need to roll a 15 or greater to hit. Round 3 targets are worth 20 points each and require rolling an 18 or greater to hit. 
Rolling a natural 20 increases charm by 1, and rolling a 1 disunqualifies the hero. After all events are played, whoever has the most medals is the grand winner. If medals are tied, solve it with the luck off. Roll d20s with no bonuses until there is a winner. Thank you for watching this deep dive on the Luck Olympics. Luck be with you. Be sure to check out prismcortex.net for new games and updates, as well as our sponsor, Jack in the Box Arachnid Edition. I'm Sweaty Lettuce for Lettuce Talk Games. Have a nice day.